Hello all, we are looking at question number 13 from Gate Biotechnology 2023 paper. Determine the correctness or otherwise of the following assertion A and the reason R. So the assertion is, in multicellular organisms, cells of different lineages have different gene expression profiles. The reason given for this assertion is, alternative splicing is the only mechanism to generate protein diversity. So option A, both A and R are false. Option B, both A and R are true. And R is the correct reason for A. Option C, both A and R are true, but R is not the correct reason for A. And option D, A is true, but R is false. To understand this, let's learn about the factors contributing to gene expression profile differences and con factors contributing to protein diversity. So in multicellular organisms, cells of different lineages, that is like different cell types, have different gene expression profiles primarily because of the process of cell differentiation. So cell differentiation is the process by which unspecialized cells or stem cells become specialized and take on specific functions and characteristics. So this specialization is essential for the proper functioning of tissues, organs and the organism as a whole. So several factors contribute to the differences in gene expression profiles among cells of different lineages. So let us look at all these factors one by one. So one of the factors contributing to different gene expression profiles in different cell types is gene regulation. So all cells in an organism contain the same set of genes in their DNA. However, the specific genes that are turned on, that is expressed, or turned off, that is repressed, can vary widely between cell types. This differential gene expression is controlled by complex regulatory mechanisms involving transcription factors, epigenetic modifications, and signaling pathways. So the other factor is epigenetic changes. So cells of different lineages often undergo epigenetic modifications that can permanently alter gene expression patterns. These modifications can include DNA methylation, histone modification, and chromatin remodeling, which can either activate or silence specific genes. The next one is cell signaling. Cells receive signals from their microenvironment that instruct them on how to differentiate and what genes to express. These signals can come from nearby cells, soluble factors, or the extracellular matrix. So signaling pathways play a critical role in determining the fate of the cell. The next one is morphological changes. As cells differentiate into specialized cell types, they often undergo structural and morphological changes that are accompanied by changes in gene expression. For example, muscle cells develop contractile proteins while neurons develop ion channels and neurotransmitter receptors on their surface. So the next one is functional requirements. So like different cell types have unique functions within the organism and their gene expression profiles are tailored to meet these functional requirements. For example, red blood cells express hemoglobin for oxygen transport, while immune cells express receptors and cytokines for immune responses. So another factor is developmental timing. Like during embryonic development, different cell lineages arise from stem cells at specific times and in specific locations during development. So these temporal and spatial cues help determine which genes are activated or repressed in a given cell lineage. And another the final factor, one of the, fin the last factors is maintenance of homeostasis. So differentiated cells must maintain their specialized functions throughout the life of the organism. So this requires the ongoing regulation of gene expression to ensure that the correct proteins are produced and that cellular functions are carried out as needed. So in summary, the diversity of gene expression profiles among cells of different le lineages is crucial for the development, function and homeostasis of multicellular organisms. It allows for the specialization of cell types and their coordination to perform the myriad functions required for the organism's survival and overall well-being. So, moving on to the next part of the question, which is about how protein diversity is generated. 
Protein diversity in biological systems arises from various mechanisms at different levels of the central dogma of molecular biology, which includes DNA replication, transcription, and translation. These mechanisms contribute to the vast array of protein isoforms and variations that play crucial roles in the functioning of cells and organisms. Here are some key mechanisms that generate protein diversity. The first one is alternate splicing. So pre-mRNA molecules can be spliced in multiple ways to produce different mRNA transcripts from a single gene. These transcripts can be translated into distinct protein isoforms. Alternative splicing allows for the inclusion or exclusion of specific exons resulting in proteins with different functions or properties. So the next one is post-translational modifications, there are PTMs. So proteins can undergo a wide range of PTMs such as phosphorylation, acetylation, glycosylation, methylation, ubiquitination and many others. These modifications can alter protein structure, stability, activity, and interactions leading to functional diversity. So next is proteolytic processing. So some proteins are synthesized as larger precursor molecules and must be cleaved by proteases to become active. Examples include the activation of certain enzymes and the generation of peptide hormones from larger pheromones. And here is an example of like the cleavage of a larger protein APP to form a smaller uh, neurodegenerating protein and a neuroprotection protein. So uh, just a, the proteolytic cleavage of this larger protein leads to two different kinds of protein that perform totally opposite functions. So the next one is RNA editing. So in some cases, RNA molecules can undergo editing where specific nucleotide bases are chemically modified or replaced, leading to changes in the encoded protein sequence. RNA is particularly common in the nervous system and can result in altered protein functions. For example, C2U editing and A2I editing. So the next one is gene duplication and divergence. So gene duplication events can lead to the presence of multiple copies of a gene in the genome. So over time, these duplicate genes can accumulate mutations and evolve to produce proteins with different functions or expression patterns. Another one is codon usage variation. So different organisms and even different tissues within the same organism may exhibit variations in codon usage preferences. These variations can influence the rate of translation and the folding of the resulting proteins affecting their functionality and diversity. So then we have alternate start codons. So proteins can be generated from the same mRNA molecule by initiating translation at different start codons. So this can lead to proteins with varying N-terminal sequences and functions. So apart from all these, Conformational changes, complex formation, and tissue-specific expression also act as contributing factors. So all these mechanisms collectively contribute to the remarkable diversity of proteins in biological systems, enabling them to perform a wide range of functions essential for life processes, cellular regulation, and organismal adaptation. Now coming back to our question. So... Like we saw, in multicellular organisms, cells of different lineages have different gene expression profiles. So this statement is true. And we also saw all the reasons behind this diversity. So now we have the reason. Alternative splicing is the only mechanism to generate protein diversity. So this statement in itself is false because there are more a lot of mechanisms that generate protein diversity which we saw alternate splicing is just one of the mechanisms and it's not the only mechanism so this reason itself is false and even like if the reason was uh, true it's not the right reason for the given assertion so anyway the answer to this question is a is true but r is false so this answers our question here thank you